Um, there's no confusion. Do you guys know what a soft launch is? Somebody knows what a soft launch is. Soft launch is when women have a, bo a new boyfriend and they don't show the boyfriend immediately. They'll show like hands together or they'll show like their feet on the beach or some shit like that. Because women know that they will lose market share on their advertising if they show a guy and suddenly that, avail that, that promise, that fantasy of availability goes away. The reason why we can't disagree with the guy who basically created the red pill. It's women's sexual strategy to show themselves, broadcast their beauty on social media. This is why so many are so addicted to the internet. It's a quick feedback loop into their being. Many likes equals acceptance. Now, what Rolo is saying here is that women who are in relationships should abandon their sexual market strategy. However, it has become increasingly difficult to call this out nowadays because sometimes it's tied directly to their income, i.e. OnlyFans models. This is why women who has barely anything on Instagram or the ones who don't even have Instagram are highly sought after. Green Lantern said, Chase, would you rather smash the hottest trans woman in the world or the oldest woman in the world? The oldest woman in the world because then I wouldn't be gay. You really just want me to uh, just rip I, you no, a fucking new uh, one. I swear uh, are you like... Uh, uh, what? Chase, yeah. how dare you be transphobic? Yes, actually, okay. what the fuck do you mean? Yes, that was so Because if I had sex with a trans woman, I'd be having sex with a biological man. Because I'd be gay if I had sex with a biological man. That's not gay. That's and gay. I don't even care if you're doing this for like whatever, but like shut the fuck up. Actually. Why don't you? Far. Why don't you make that's me shut the fuck up? Because I have an opinion that differs from yours. She's right. I mean, that's really hateful, bro. She's not. She's not. A trans woman is a biological man. Sue me. It's true. A biological woman. What? A man of God who doesn't judge a Christian? Yeah. Yeah, you know, you know what God said? It said he made the man and women. I just told you I'm not gay. I'll pass on that. Thanks, though. This is quite hilarious. These two obviously have strong beliefs, but her anger doesn't make sense to me. He just said he didn't want to have sex with a trans woman because that's a biological man. To him, that's considered gay. So what is he supposed to do according to this chick? Have sex with a biological man and be okay with it? It's not like he said he'll kill all trans women. Hell, he didn't even say he hated trans people. It's just according to his preferences. But I guess that's what you get when you put two people who are complete opposites in one room. Extreme conservatives have their own problems, but man, feminists and progressives sure make theirs too apparent. Is it empowering for you, Miss Saudi Arabia? It's very empowering. Okay. You think it's empowering to show your body off to strangers whacking off to you? That is what is actually going on behind the screen. What someone has been through to come to the point to say, you know what, I'm not ashamed of this. If they're looking for someone who is preferring an almost virgin, they might not give two shits if a Myron is looking for them. <laughs> Myron. Yeah. Right? Okay, so at the end of the day, yes, I do believe that it can be extremely empowering. And what you've had to go through to get to the point where you say, you know what, this is me and I accept it and I love it and I'm comfortable with it. This girl's leaving, she's emotional. Um, Shorty's crying? Probably. Know, but and here's the thing, that's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak her. about what you do openly, and you, you feel a certain way, it, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that, yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be doing this shit. Women are the biggest victims in all the lies of feminism. They really are. Like what Myron said, deep down, these girls know what they are doing is not really empowering. However, because women are more susceptible to groupthink, they'll go with the flow of the narrative in the society. I'm not saying the complete opposite of feminism is good either. Considering she's from a culture I have no knowledge of, I'm not saying that at all. I think the pendulum has just swung too far to the left. Men have been more oppressed. Please than women. make your argument right now. Please what? state your case, this Brian. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> so, throughout all human history, what percentage would you say of military casualties if you had to break it up between the genders? What, what is the percentage breakdown of military casualties? Well, obviously, so deaths and injuries. obviously a significantly more amount of men. 99.999%. But that's also because that's also because in the past, women have not been allowed to That's a privilege. Fight. Women have not been allowed to fight. Yeah, like y'all bitches gonna enlist when the enemies are at the door. Give me a break. It's never been more equal and free now. Where are all the women's sewage workers? Where are all the power pole technicians and construction workers? Oh, right. They're all at the office complaining how they're not getting paid as much. Can you stop 
are you even talking about? Well, you have to share that. So you do know that I can sue you for violating my rights if you are filming. Drift. What's your name? Do you need to? I'm not the one filming, so. Well, you don't need to worry about it. Well, if I'm on camera, I kind of need to worry about it. Well, why don't you and Poindexter come outside with me and I'll show you. I could never understand why they don't want to be filmed, yet they approach the camera guy when they're not being filmed in the first place. Can you right now? Really? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? I suggest you not touch him. Would you like to call him? Call him, because I'll just have you charged with assault. Just look at her. That's the look of being a lifetime victim. I tend to stay away from folks that look like this. It's legal to film someone in public without their consent, thanks to the First Amendment, which protects the freedom of speech and press. It only becomes illegal if there's intent of stalking, commercial use, or defamation. Good news, uh, yeah. Tiffany's no longer my girlfriend. Thank God, dude. That woman was the craziest person I've ever met in my Oh, life. hold up, hold up, hold up. She's actually, we're engaged now. She's my fiance. It's, uh, she's no longer my girlfriend. She's my fiance. What the hell, Mike? I am so sorry. And she's your fiance. Bye. Oh my God! I really like your earrings. That's the Oh, thank you. Dog. Yeah. Okay. How would your ex, your most recent one, describe you? She would say I'm controlling, but the only reason why she would say that is because mm -hmm. she uh, posts very explicit pictures on Instagram. And I was like, you know, I understand that you're happy with your body and mm -hmm. I support you. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, mm -hmm. I was like, just a little bit. Okay. And she didn't like that. Interesting. Do you think you two would be interested in going on a second date? I'd be interested in going on a second date. <laughs> That's the look of a woman who'll soon be living with a bunch of cats. She's clearly building her own confidence by rejecting men again and again. She isn't there to date. She's there to show how powerful and independent she is. Never date these types of women, gents. Save yourself from headaches. How does a woman have five or six children and still end up in a nursing home? My mom had me when she was 20. And when I was 16 years old, I walked into the kitchen and without any warning, she told me that I ruined her youth. Because she had me at 20, I ruined her youth. When my brother was 13, she decided to tell him that the man that had raised him his entire life wasn't his dad, just because her and my stepdad were having an argument. When my youngest brother was 11, he couldn't find his glasses one morning before she took him to school because she had shaken the bed and they fell off the bed. While he was on his hands and knees looking for those glasses, she kicked him in the ribs. That's how. Redfield's guy also grew up in that kind of household, so I can definitely sympathize with this dude. Apparently, having children doesn't make a person a mother. And also, being a woman doesn't make someone necessarily a good person. Fellas, correct me if I'm wrong, ladies, listen to this. No matter what the circumstance is, a guy will never, ever end a relationship first. If he end a relationship, bro, honestly, you was doing way too much, bro. He and this is why I always emphasize that men should learn how to walk away. It's basically a superpower. When you learn that, things that used to hurt you have little power over you. Wait a second. Why do you have your eye on the guy that was falsely accused? He's the victim in this scenario. Why instead don't you have your eye on the person that falsely accused him? They're the perpetrator. Um, how come you took offense when I called you a seven? Because I'm not a seven. 
because these women think their sexual market value is somehow measured by their ego. But why would, why, why would, why would you care my, what someone thinks? I know my thinks? worth and I'm not a seven. But why would you care what someone thinks? Huh? Why should you care what someone thinks? Because I'm not a seven. She realizes it, but steps on the gas with her reasoning anyway. Do you want to be the one to get me pregnant? No, you I... could be a mailman. <laughs> I'm sorry. Come on, come on, you wanna get me pregnant? No, I don't, I'm so sorry. You're the Liberty Kill. What the actual fuck? <laughs> you are the Liberty Kill. I'm sorry, kid. man. No, I don't. What the? What the fuck? I don't. <laughs> that woman is lost. She's old, too. Is it going to be a yes or a no with Adam? Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Is it gonna be a yes or a no with Jess? No. Oh. Oh. Men don't get to have preferences, apparently. I mean, he seems very nice. That's new for me, not used to that one. Uh, honestly, in my dating life, I'm either hell yes or hell no. Uh, all right. I'm just not instantly like, yeah. It was a no, because he just didn't feel like, I guess he said, you know, he's very hard or very soft on things. Uh... Good one. When it comes to matters of dating, men should always be ruthless. Black and white makes things easier. Two for dare, Ramon. Dare? Go up to three strangers and ask for a hug. Here's your mic. Hi, guys. Is it okay if I ask you for a hug? No, the man, sorry. No? no. Nope. Excuse me. Nope. Damn. Can I have a hug? Hell no. Nah. Really? <laughs> Can I have a hug, please? You want a hug? Yeah. No, sorry. No. Maybe in another life, sweetheart, when men don't get their shit destroyed for accidentally touching a woman's shoulder. <laughs> Oh, shit. Here we go again. What would you rate me? Scale of 1 to 10. Is this for YouTube? Uh, what up, YouTube? I'll okay. give you a solid 6. Hey, a solid 6 is above average. At least, she's above average. Obviously, this chick is just doing this for content. I think this is what she does. Going up to random strangers to get rejected. No, it's okay to, it's okay to get rejected. You look good. They just they don't feel like... Alright. This one is cheap! <laughs> shaming tactics. She got rejected, couldn't take it, so she resorts to shaming the guy for having preferences. Where do these people find these women? Have they ever been friends then? I think once. Yeah, once. How'd it feel? I was like, I will kill you. Rejection is the worst thing you can do to a woman. You can better understand this in the context of evolution. A man who gets shunned by the tribe will probably survive. He'll be sad, probably go hungry for a little bit, but he's capable of hunting, so he'll do okay. However, a woman will likely die if put in the same situation. That's why women avoid rejection, like it's the plague, because evolutionarily, it's tied to their survival. Anyways, Miss America, you can go. Um, oh, wow. It's cool. It's cool. I can't it's cool. this. Hey, what about her? I can see the trap ball. I find these shows really strange. If Tinder and all the other dating apps aren't strange enough, they had to do it in person. It's like we're living in a dystopian future. My boyfriend just broke up with me. Are you not gonna give up? Maybe because she posts everything on social media. Anyway, that's all the time we have for you today, boys. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.